Federal agents arrested a man in connection with the attack on the Curtis Culwell Center in Garland during last month's Draw the Prophet Muhammad cartoon contest. Fox 4's Sean Rad has the latest on the story that changed how the FBI, Sean, is tracking those suspected of having ties to supporting ISIS. Not only tracking them, but also treating them, Clarice. And that third man today made his first appearance in federal court in Phoenix. He's charged with helping plan the May 3rd shooting attack. It happened as the Draw the Prophet cartoon contest and First Amendment event was ending. Two gunmen opened fire on a police officer and an unarmed school security guard. The unarmed school officer was shot. The police officer, who wasn't injured, returned fire, hitting the suspects. Then... A SWAT team engaged the pair in a firefight as they struggled to get more weapons. Killed was Elton Simpson and Nadir Sufi, the pair traveling from Phoenix to Garland to carry out their plan that had been hinted on social media. The man now charged with helping the gunman in their failed attack is an American Muslim convert known as Abdul Malik Abdul Karim, born Dakaris Thomas with a long criminal record. Karim is charged with conspiracy, interstate transportation of firearms with intent to commit a felony, and making false statements to the FBI. Where this defendant's probably got himself in a world of hurt is by talking to the FBI and lying to the FBI. That's the tack on charge. Paul Coggins is the former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Texas and not involved in this case. The trio practiced shooting, the government says, in a remote desert outside Phoenix between January and May 3rd. The indictment continues. Kareem, Simpson, Sufi, along with others, met in Kareem's home, making plans to disrupt the Garland event as well as discuss the pair's travel plans to Texas. So there could be other people indicted here or other people mentioned in the indictment. If that's the case, you know, the feds don't want them to know they're targeted or perhaps been indicted. Kareem, the government says, provided the guns Simpson and Sufi used in the May 3rd shooting. So there's still a lot of blanks to fill in surrounding the shooting that happened here at the Culver Center back May 3rd. We know now, according to the government, that Abdul Malik Abdul Karim provided the guns to Simpson and Sufi. The question is, did he purchase those guns? If he didn't, who did? Who bought the weapons? And then who funded the trip from Phoenix to Texas? Lastly, ISIS claimed responsibility for the shooting event here in the days following. The government still trying to determine if ISIS actually had a hand in it or only claiming stake to it. Nothing in the indictment spoke to that. Clarice? All right, Sean, we'll continue to watch it. Thanks.